Okay, so, so far we've been, um, you know, just dragging and copying our files uh, into our device folder, you know, doing some work there. And then we, after we copy all of that, we copy it over to our GitLab, you know, and our GitLab folder, and then we upload that to GitLab. And one of the things is if you're working with a group of people, um, you really want to uh, do this differently. Um, you really want to have all your work done in your GitLab folder and then just repo sync into your um, lineage. So if we go to the repo folder, you know, we show hidden files, we look at our lo local manifest, and of course there's none here yet. Um, you can download them, uh, you know, like go on to my GitLab or whatnot, find local manifest. Uh, you can search for other people. It doesn't really matter. Uh, key part is just that you get get one if you need a template, um, and then you can add that to uh, to your device there. But so we take that, we download it, we extract it, and then we can just copy that over um, this room service XML. We'll just copy that and put it into our local manifest folder. And of course, you know, we talked about local manifest before. So uh, if you're not familiar with, uh, with that, please go back and take a look at my previous video series. Um, but we're going to uh, delete a lot of this, maybe a little too much there. I think we're gonna need three things for sure. So we'll just stick with that. Um, and what we would do, of course, is just add the projects that we're utilizing. So, you know, we're using this kernel, uh, Blue Life One X2, um, and we can just copy that portion there, Alaska Linux user, Android, Android kernel, Blue Life One X2. And we can throw that into our project, and then, you know, change our device and our path here, Life One. X2, GitHub, AOKP, which we're gonna have to change this GitHub to GitLab here in just a second. Uh, we'll look at that. But this is just a much better way to, um, revision was master. This is just a much better way to uh, work with your files. That way you keep current up to date. When you do a repo sync, you're gonna overwrite files that are in the in where you are working. I'm just grabbing the other uh, other two things we need here. Let's see, we've got kernel, sender, and I cannot find, oh, it's device right here. So we grab those things that we need and we can put them uh, into uh, into our project here. And this is really probably the best way to do your work. So then what you do is you just work in the Git lab folder and you, um, you know, synchronize the upload your work and then you repo sync and do your build. And this is, this is the best way to uh, just keep your, uh, keep your device in sync. It's really great if you're working with a group of people too, somebody else does a little bit of work and you can uh, grab that work right off the bat without having to, you know, copy and paste a bunch of files and, and you know, weed through what was changed or what wasn't. So I highly recommend this method. But so far, we've just been copying and pasting in the folders because, you know, it's just me working on it by myself. Um, but pretty soon here, while we're not there yet, pretty soon we're gonna start attempting some builds. And if we attempt some builds, then we're gonna to need to uh, you know, do some repo syncs and things like that. So we wanna we wanna go ahead and implement it this this way. So let's see. Uh, I'd put device and we now change it to kernel. So uh, vendor to vendor, device to device. Uh, Revision for all of these is master, uh, just because I don't have other branches in that particular folder. But uh, we'll save that file. But now, so I've added a remote of GitLab, but GitLab is not uh, one of our choices. So let's take.
take a look at why. Um, what we need to do is go to the repo folder and find the default manifest, which this is a shortcut to it. So we open with uh, not LibreOffice because that's retarded. Let's try this again with the edit and we'll close that LibreOffice. So you see we have these different remotes and we have remote AOSP and GitHub and private and all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the uh, GitHub remote and we are going to uh, make a copy of that and call it GitLab. So if you have this remote remote points to something, then you can use it. And if it doesn't point to something, you really can't utilize it because it'll say, I don't know what GitLab is for remote. Um, so we put the name of what it is, and then we want to do the fetch. Where is it going to go fetch this stuff at? And so you would just put in, you know, um, HTTPS GitLab.com. You know, you could just come up here and copy and paste it. Um, you know, if you just paste it in right here, uh, that works too, except for I already had a bunch of garbage in there. So let me fix that. But so now it knows where it can go to uh, to do that repo sync. Um, the review is if you if uh, you know for for looking at the reviews for it. Notice that we just point it to leads. We don't really care um, where the review is. It's probably a better way to do that, but it doesn't really matter. You're not going to use it for anything. That's uh, beyond the scope of what we're talking about here. So we jump into uh, Lineage Marshmallow, and then we do our repo sync. And it's going to start uh, synchronizing. This is going to take uh, a little bit of time because uh, we've added three projects, and one of them is a kernel, which is going to take a little bit of time. Um, but here it goes through, and it, it looks at the regular projects on the usual list. Hey, is there anything new out there? And of course, you want to repo sync, um, you know, fairly regularly to try to get, you know, the right uh, newest, latest work on whatever ROM you're working on. The only reason you wouldn't want to do that is if you were doing, uh, you know, custom security uh, updates or um, maybe making your own stuff, doing something really custom, then you probably would not want to repo sync. Um, but uh, if you were doing custom edits, you would probably make your own repository for whatever framework or app or whatever that you were doing some custom edits on and change the manifest to point to your work instead of to their work. That would be the best way to do that. But so you just go ahead and uh, repo sync here, and, and you can see it's running through pretty fast. Um, but it's going to take a little bit of time here because I think there was some changes and uh, and it has to download that. So you can see here it's downloading for Lineage OS, Android Hardware, Qcom, Audio, and it's uh, it's got quite a bit of files to download. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this here uh, just to try to keep it short and sweet. But, uh, but it really is a good idea to set up a local manifest and 